you know, I think the hardest team that I ever got cut from was the 2004 Olympic team. And I was going through a lot of struggles with injuries and I don't, the way I was playing, I didn't deserve to be on that team. So I feel very secure in like knowing that, you know, I gave it what I had and it wasn't the right fit at the right time because I wasn't playing at the level that I needed to be playing at at that particular moment. But fast forward years and years later, and I'm working at a company, I'm in downtown Chicago, and I walk into and everything's just weird in the office that day. And what I figure out is that they're making layoffs. And layoffs are going around and, you know, people are coming into different offices and cubes and saying, hey, we need you to come talk to us. And, you know, pretty immediately, like, that culture starts going around and everyone understands what's happening. And I remember a couple of my coworkers sitting there and this one girl, she just lost it. She started hyperventilating and started, I mean, just, I, I was really surprised at, at, at the reaction with how nervous she got and how um, it was really a struggle for her to be able to handle that. And I remember sitting there and thinking, I sat down at my desk and I thought, I've done this before. Like, I've lived through this moment where this is out of my control. The decision has already been made. I did everything I could up until this point and I hope I did enough to get there. And I just got to roll with the punches and handle this with grace. And I remember thinking like, man, if I get cut from an Olympic team, I can handle a layoff and I can respond. And I remember thinking like, and being just so grateful for having had that experience that really applied to everyday life. And I think it's the same experience that unfortunately people are probably going to have to go through in their lives. I mean, I think we all have been in, in businesses where things might be struggling. And so I felt so grateful for getting cut from the Olympic roster. And in that moment, I never would have thought I would look back and be like, oh, I'm so grateful that I got cut. But I am.